A shooting out of Warren County that has left one person dead, two others injured in what police are now calling an apparent love triangle. Chris Goninger is live in Queensbury right now following this developing story for us, and he has the very latest information from police up there. Chris? Hi there, Dory. Police were called to 1172 Bay Road in the town of Queensbury just after 2 o'clock. And when they arrived, they found they were dealing with a triple shooting. When they went inside the house, they found homeowner Paul Wells, Wells' 18-year-old son, and the son's mother, Jacqueline Keegan. Wells and Keegan were both shot and wounded. They also found a Ralph Reynolds dead on the kitchen floor. Police believe Ralph Reynolds arrived at the home armed with a handgun. Reynolds had a connection with both Keegan and Wells in what police are calling a love triangle. As Sheriff Bud York explains what exactly went down. Yeah, it, it's apparent that Mr. Reynolds came to the house upset and he went into the house he forced his way into the house shooting. And it, it appears that the family of Paul Wells were, were defending themselves. At this point, Wells and Keegan were both transported to Glens Falls Hospitals. There are still a lot of unanswered questions, like who shot the uh, shotgun that killed uh, Ronalds and uh, how many shots were exchanged at this point. Uh, we do know that they are at Glens Falls Hospital. We do not know their condition at this point. Uh, and also, they do not expect any charges to come out of this since they believe the homeowner was acting in self-defense. That could change, as Sheriff York explains, this investigation is ongoing and they have the state police involved. For now, we are live in Warren County. Chris Gloninger, CBS 6 News.